So, let's do some more Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying. It is my first day of break, I guess. Well, last work day of the year. <laughs> You're so tired you can't feel pain. That's that's uh, concerning. How's it going, confirming? Aside from being sleep deprived. Oh, right, it's the light thing. Sure. You feel like your brain doesn't work? Jeez. Wow. At a certain point, you'll fall asleep. It just happens eventually. Open up with this. I got a notification today that my uh, my fancy new upscaler has been shipped, so I might get it before the end of the year. I might even get it before Christmas, which kind of excited to try out. Control. That's the one that's, like, for phones, right? But it's a pretty decent one. I've heard good things about that controller. Ah. So the thing I'm getting is... ...something that'll upscale... ...pretty much any console I want to 4K. Including the Switch. So, I could... Permanently do 1440p mode, but also VODs will be 4K. There'd be nothing really stopping me from doing that now. I wouldn't have to switch, but... The primary thing is, like, retro console stuff would just look so nice. It's a lot easier, but... You know, also picture quality would be better. So, I'm gonna tinker with that. Because this computer can handle stuff. Like, I tested 4K on it, and it just... it does it fine. It can capture and, and play, and there's no issues with it. It's... Man, my old computer was, uh, it's pretty behind. I've said it before, it's, you know, I really like this new computer, but the one thing that I just, I, uh, I hate is Windows 11. It's just... In the short time I've had it, it's frustrated me multiple times. Yellow? Yellow's growing here? Okay. How have I still not gotten the final colour here? 
I've been trying for so long that this hasn't happened. So yeah, that thing's on its way. And, uh... We'll be messing around with that over Christmas, so it should be fun. You can't put the taskbar to the left. Oh, really? My main gripe with it is just, it's more intrusive than Windows 10 ever was, like... My lock screen was showing me ads, and it's just like, what? Didn't I pay for this OS? Hey, did you know that there's Game Pass? And you can subscribe to it? And then it's just doing that constant reminder of like, Hey, let's finish setting up your computer. Oh, I set up my computer already. No, 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 you need to set up your computer. What you need to do is tell us that you don't want to use OneDrive, Office 365, um, your Microsoft account. You don't want to use Android integration with Windows, it's just... It just doesn't feel like my computer, you know? Like, I feel like I'm renting it from someone. Also uninstalled pretty much every app. Yeah, I I've done the same thing. And then, just the compatibility problems, like... What I was using before to do all my audio stuff in Windows 10, it just doesn't work. So I've had to do alternatives with OBS. Uh, my overlay just flat out doesn't work in Windows 11, so I have to rewrite it. It's, yeah. I mean, look, Game Pass is probably the only thing that I would consider. That's... It, for what you get with that, you know, it's decent. But that being said, that's like, well, if I want that, I'll go look for it myself. I don't need them reminding me of it on my login screen. It's just the fact that all of that is turned on by default. That's the annoying thing. It's just they've done everything to be just super egregious. But, enough of that. <laughs> That's just... It's just how it's gonna be. I just have to get used to it. I need one more fossil. Oh, I've already... Pretty much found most of them. But yeah, I'm happy to be done with work for the uh, Mac and mental reset. They'd kind of have something dropped on my lap work wise, but. I was like, ah, I'll deal with it as quick as I can, and then I'll let future me worry about the rest. <laughs> no, wait. Hold on. Is this one of the colors? No, 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 this is just purple. But it's normal purple? I don't know. This is... This is what I hate about the flower system, is there's no way to tell if it's, like, the hybrid purple or just standard purple.
it's just not an explained system at all. Whoops. <laughs> I'll fix that later. Um... been doing this, this flower stuff for two, two months. Like, no exaggeration, two, two whole months. Hey, turn that way. Where is this last fossil? Uh... Is that a new bug? Yeah, I look forward to... Doing absolutely nothing <laughs> just this weekend. Outside of the minimal functional adult stuff. <sighs> yep. Good work. I was trying to be careful. I got too close to it. On Monday, I'm gonna try eggnog for the first time, so that's that's the thing. Oh, I finally got this. Cool. That's a neat one. Might as well put these out. Um, it'd be these ones, I would assume. Yeah, there they are. Like, there's nothing else I'd want to place down this way, so... I don't care if this doesn't <laughs> make sense. It might not make sense. No, move it. There we go. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be on hills, like on high ground, not where I placed them. I think they're actually reacting to the wind. Anyway. Hmm. That is a big fish. Hold on. Too slow. I tried. Where is this last fossil?
I probably walked past it multiple times again. Anyone sees it pointed out. It's not that, those are well, those are the sticks I buried. Accidentally. My brother, um, was showing me a yearbook that, um, they did at my niece's primary, well, elementary school. I'll say elementary school for understanding. And they had the section dedicated to, like, what kids aspire to be. So, you know, you would think something like that would be, you know, I want to be a firefighter, I want to be an astronaut, that sort of thing. Multiple kids put down that they want to be a YouTuber, and one kid put down, I want to be a CEO. <laughs> so, man. What is happening? What did I want to be? Uh, when I was younger, I wanted to be a firefighter. That, uh, obviously didn't happen. Then I got into computers. <laughs> you wanted to be a vet? It's a pretty common one, too. My niece wants to be a vet, so. Amicable. But some of them, there was not only to be a YouTuber, but be a YouTuber and make millions of dollars. So it's like, oh, okay. You can probably guess who that kid watches. Not to throw shade, but there's like a difference between wanting to be a YouTuber and wanting to be a YouTuber and make millions of dollars. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the YouTuber you would watch might influence that uh, extra bit on the end. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing they don't tell you, that's, which they can't, you're a kid, right? But like, you know, a lot of these hero type professions, they generally involve looking death in the face and firefighters are included in that. It's just dealing with a literal hellscape. No, thank you. Dude, where is this... I'm losing my mind, where is this fossil? I've... I've got three, so there is definitely one more. Where is it? I 
I mean, the whole YouTuber thing, I think it's a modern day version of just wanting to be like a movie star or a singer. It's just a achieving fame. It's just a different kind of fame. Is this just going to be in a very obscure spot? Where haven't I looked? I've, I've been walking around. I had a dream last night where... I... I was playing more Yakuza, and, um, the bear ended up being the old mystical man. He just transformed into a bear, and I was like, I knew it! <laughs> I was, like, so happy that I called it. If that's a sentence that confuses you if you're watching this later on YouTube, out of context, this is a game that I play. <laughs> it's just a fever dream. Thanks. Well, we'll see if that lines up with reality. I'm gonna be a little annoyed if this fossil is, like... ...hidden? Because I don't know if it... ...if it can place it... Behind here. Like a place where the camera can't really show you it. Mm, doesn't look like it's here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll validate the theory later. I think we're like at the end of that chapter, so... I could have skipped through most of it, but I, I got invested in that plot. Oh my god, it's here. Alright, there we go. Okay. Gonna... <laughs> also, I think Confirmy may have, like, passed out. That's fine. Or just not paying attention to Twitch chat. Oh, okay. It can be a very... Do I- I think I have a police hat. You heard your name? Oh, nothing. Someone said hi in chat, so... I was like, oh, maybe you passed out. <laughs> Go back to sleep, it's fine. I do already have the Christmas hat. You're in the limbo of consciousness and death. Ah. We've all been there. I 
I'll just take the other stuff off manually. Should have seen me in my final weeks, well, my final week of university. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been that tired in my life. I was pushing my own physical limits there. I told the story before, but there was someone that went to my university who dressed pretty goth-like. And they did makeup as well. And so, I remember having a conversation with this, this dude. And, uh... Halfway through the conversation, I swear, the makeup they were wearing just materialized on their face all of a sudden. Like, you know, it was one second no makeup, next second makeup, and it scared the living crap out of me. I was, I was that tired. And I remember submitting my last assignment, I got home, and I just passed out and slept for like 18 hours. <laughs> and then I was sick for a week. So, body just gave out. Hey Star, how's it going? How's things? The human brain is just, like, magical sometimes. But now I understand how when they say, like, being very tired is just almost as bad as being really drunk. That's very similar. You know, your reaction time slow down, and if you're extremely tired... Details blur, it's just, it's not great. Things are okay, how am I doing? I'm doing good. Glad to be done with work for the year, so... Just... Soaking it in right now. Wait, I forgot to check. Ugh, see, I'm all over the place right now. It's not coffee. Okay, it's cell. That's fine. We're looking forward to finding out what happens with that bear later. <laughs> I dreamt about the bear. Did I sell the turnips? I did. I made, uh... I mean, I had like two million that I put in, and then I ended up with just over five million. So, I've paid up for all my debts. I have two million in the bank now. So, there's nothing else to pay off now. Excuse me, is that a watermelon? That looks like the watermelon from Yoshi's Island. Yeah, like, I honestly can't wait to see where that- the story with the bear goes. I mean, we already have the mystical old dude that gets possessed by the mountain gods, so... Oh, it's a beach ball. It looks like a watermelon. Apparently this is a beach ball. I'll take it. I'll buy the piano. I've got the sign already, I've got that sign already, don't need that.
Okay, so what did I buy overnight? I didn't buy that, I was gifted. That's fake. Right, the neon neon lamps. I need to go get these customized to put downstairs. Can't remember if that's a duplicate. Let's go have a look. Yeah, okay, it's a duplicate, so I can hang it up. I need a reminder of what I was going to order today. I think I was going to order some booths for the inside restaurant area. Yeah, so I'm going to order more of these. Uh, one sec. Yes, there is. Stop lying. <laughs> this room. How do you do this? Down. And, ah. And then, yeah. Okay, so I just need one more and then that'll, that'll do it. If I really want to be pedantic about it, I'll... I'll get specific ones that look good eventually, but for now. I'll see if I can place that outside. Keep that. More gyroids to maybe put around the place. I'm also prepared for today. I had, uh... I had good food. <laughs> well, appropriate food so then Yakuza doesn't make me ha hungry later. I won't say what, just in case I make people hungry, but... Appropriate food so I don't get hungry later. Chicken? Maybe. It may have had it as an ingredient. I had chicken yesterday because of the stupid talk. <laughs> oh man. It can't be helped. <sighs> I once gave a PowerPoint presentation on how much chicken I eat in a year because a friend of mine, she made fun of me slash joked about just the sheer quantity of chicken that I eat. And you know, I asked what, you want me to give a presentation on it? And she said yes, so a year later I gave a presentation on how much chicken I ate the year. For the whole year. Broken up by quarter. Almost like a financial report, but it was... You know, just how many chickens I was personally responsible for the death of. But also indirectly, because... I, ha I had a whole section where... Let's say we're hanging out, right? And we're hungry, and we go... Alright. What do we want to eat? And you want pizza. But then... I go, well, let's have chicken. And I convince you... To eat 
chicken instead of pizza. That means I've convinced you to murder chicken. So, there was like a section for indirect responsibility. I forgot the number, but it was definitely over a hundred whole chickens in here. <laughs> it was just the chicken wings um kind of makes the number blow out pretty easily. From back in that year, like a thing we had at work, we'd go and get wings. So that uh that blew out the numbers. I don't know where the, where the spreadsheet is. I'd have to find it. It's like on an old hard drive somewhere. That's the kind of person I am. It's like I'll wait a whole year to make a stupid joke that'll last like three minutes. Pretty funny, did I have to track what I ate every day? You, pretty much, when I ate chicken, I wrote it down on my phone, like, what I ate. And then when I would get home, I'd enter it into the spreadsheet. It's just the chicken, it's not everything I ate, it's just whenever I had chicken, make a note of it. It, it, it is a lot of work, because <laughs> it's doing that for a whole year. But, yeah, I, I ate a lot of- I eat a lot of chicken. I think I eat less than what I used to now, but... I mean, back then, yeah. I ate a lot. A business idea for a chicken tracker? <laughs> I don't know if anyone would want to do that. Well, maybe there's... There's a place, because there might be enough people that are insane enough to just record that as for a joke. I don't know if this is the real one. I'm going to buy it anyway. See you tomorrow. Ha, you're not gonna regret this! <laughs> what a thing to say to a customer. I don't know, has anyone else gone to an extreme length to make a joke? I'll feel a lot better if <laughs> someone else... Well, I guess maybe... A year to make a joke is, is a bit of a, a bit of an ask, but... I do appreciate it when people go to extra lengths just to make a joke. Too lazy, so no. Ah. Another joke that this one took, I think, almost two years for it to happen. But in the very early days of, like, where I was working, on Slack, I set up a command that if someone wrote the word England, it would put a little tiny emoji of this person who was from England. And they didn't have a mustache, but I photoshopped the mustache on them. And the message would just say, I say, did someone say England, jolly old chap, good, whatever. Like, it was just a bunch of British speak. And so I set that up, thinking that, you know, it wouldn't be long before that message went off. And then almost two years later, someone was talking about England in a sporting event, and then the message popped up, and I was like, whoa, right, I forgot I even set that up.
<laughs> they knew it was me already, because that's just like my sense of humor. That's just It got it got laughs. Especially because I had long forgotten. This just looks like a watermelon. I'm getting something more normal, like this. I can't believe no one used the word England for almost two years in a chat. Like, how does that happen? Okay, that's that. Uh, green. Red and the last one white. Wait, you, you've been known to save up a bit for a punchline. Don't know if it's okay. Yeah, I mean, a year is the extreme, but if you were to say wait a day for a punchline, I'll just. Try to set up a, a moment. I appreciate that. Just do a bunch of legwork just to make a joke. And the joke's probably something that only lasts a few seconds or it's like... <laughs> someone will always ask, was it worth it? And the answer every time is yes. You can't remember the last time you talked about England. It had to be many months ago, if not a year ago. I just figured that at some point someone was gonna ask, oh, where are you from? Or like, because we talked about sports events, you know, it would come up, oh, did anyone watch the cricket, the match between England and Australia? Or, that's what I expected, in my mind, that's what I expected to happen. Like, it wasn't so far-fetched, but it took almost two years. <laughs> Alright, I got- I'll- I'll say one more, and I'll- all the stuff that I'm talking about was like... Well, it's a younger version of me that did all this, like, you know, in my 20s. But... There was a... A company we used to share the office with, and they were a marketing company. So, at the time, you know... They thought that QR codes were the rage. And now, you know, QR codes nowadays, they're actually useful. But back then, back in my day, um, back then, it was so stupid because you had to download an app to be able to recognize the QR code. It's not like how it is now where you, you just go to the camera and just point your camera at it and it works, right? You had to download a separate app to make it even work. And they were so adamant on using these things, and I was like, no one's gonna scan them, man. No one downloads an app just to scan a random thing that they probably don't care about. So I used to make fun of them constantly. So, I, uh, I downloaded this image, and it's this image, that, it's a flowchart of when you should use a QR code. And all the image is, is, should I use a QR code? And... It goes to yes and no. And eventually, the flowchart just repeats on itself and it's like, no. <laughs> I can find the image. Hang on. But I set that image up as a QR code. So when you scan it, it would show you that image. And I printed a poster and placed it strategically around the office with this QR code. Several days passed, no one scanned it. So I put another one up, and another one up, and another one up, until I eventually just gave up, because no one scanned it. Eventually I showed them, I was like, hey, have you noticed all the posters around the office? I was like, oh yeah, it's a QR code. Like, yeah. So why didn't you scan it? Couldn't be bothered downloading the app. <laughs> and I scanned it, showed them, and yeah. One of them found that amusing. The, the other guy did not, so... 
That's my sense of humor. such an old image. I probably can't. Oh, no, there it is. Found it. Yes. Okay. That was easy. Hold on. Windows is being annoying. Okay. All this time just to show a stupid image of a joke I made several years ago. I know. Um, this is the image. <laughs> so, that's how- that's what I thought of QR codes back then, because it was just- No one's gonna download an app just to scan your code, just let it go. But nowadays they are useful, because you don't have to do that anymore. But the irony that no one scanned the QR code was the best. It just, uh, oh, it made it so much funnier for me. For me. <laughs> I don't care if I laugh at my own jokes. I know that's like kind of in bad taste, but I, I found it hysterical. Uh, for every new poster I put up, I was like, man, I can't believe no one scanned this code yet. Because you could track it. You would know when someone scanned it. So I knew that no one had scanned it. Yeah, point proven. But in the end, you know, the guy was right, like, people use them now a lot. But back then, it was, it was just such a pointless thing. He did get the last laugh, now they're, they're pretty standard and they're pretty widely used, but... Figure out the pattern is I'll, I'll fix it. What is this like? White, blue, red. No, white, blue, green, red. Okay. I'll put a pause on the lights and go get the booths like um like I wanted to. You scanned maybe through and it was because it was literally the only way to access the info. I started using them because of the pandemic, because you had to scan to check in. And then a lot of places here now, uh, they have their menus on... on tables, so you, you scan the QR code, it pops up the menu, or... you can actually order... online, and, you know, it comes to your table. Just by scanning the QR code, so... that stuff is useful. But if I see, like, a poster of some concert or something, or just some marketing stuff, I'm not gonna scan that code. <laughs> That's just me. Man, I love this so much now that the speech bubbles and the guards just look annoyed. Okay, so let me just finish the daily stuff off and then I'll go do some happy home and we'll design a house or something. Uh, let's just order... Yeah, okay, that'll be the last piece of... Because I've already got this song, so I'll hang that up. And... what is it? It's like... I forget what the item is called. But those square boots, just so I can get more for the restaurant. I think it was like study something. But you can put a menu in it. Yeah, there it is. 
So I did get the brown ones, so cool. Just order... Four... right. Three of these. Because I've already got one. Let me double check. I think I need three. Yes, three. Okay, so I can buy one more item. Uh, thinking. I guess just keep going with the lights. It's fine. Uh. Oh, it's wall. It's called wall mounted neon light. Well, mounted neon lamp, and I can just buy the color I want. Alright, cool. Yeah, it's honestly been a while since I've done, like, a practical joke <laughs> for work. Everyone has a good sense of humor where I work, so... Uh, beach ball and windmill. Let me see. I feel like if I place it here, it might be overcrowded. Like, maybe eventually... How big is this thing? I mean, pretty big. I don't know if this is overkill. But... I feel like every farm should have this, I don't know. It's in the way. Oh, flower. Uh... Let's see how it looks, like maybe as a backdrop. Oops. <laughs> yep. Sometimes when I'm aiming with the shovel, uh, I feel like... Someone who's drunk could probably do a better job than I can. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. It feels like a bit much. Less is more. I might figure out something to do with it, but if I don't, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go shake trees and find the furniture. I should probably customize my net. Uh, it might last. And then I just gotta water the plants and we're good. Are you selling something different? Because I've been wanting yellow roses, but he just hasn't had them in stock. Nope. 
Okay. That's unfortunate. I'm just trying to speed up what I'm doing with the flowers, but it's just... Oh shit. <laughs> ah, the street lamp got in the way. Alright, well, I'll fix that in a minute. That hasn't happened in a while. Nope. Dude, that's what was supposed to happen. Oh, come on! <laughs> Three back to back. There we go. You cannot believe it. They're wasps. <laughs> Pun doesn't work. Wasp, close call. All right, I'll give you that one. I love how you just had another one just ready to go. <laughs> Wasn't even 10 seconds between them. Room and dust pan, okay. Oh, yeah, right, it's, they're dropping ornaments now. At some point I should sit there and shake the trees and try and get all the ornament colours. There we go. A water cooler. All right, nothing special today. Uh, I hear a balloon. Vintage TV tray. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna water the flowers and then I'll go do happy home stuff. I think that's it. I found the money rock already, so... I'm only gonna water what I'm interested in. I haven't had much luck with the black tulips. Okay, that's done. Again, I really hope that before the end of the year I'm done with this growing hybrids thing. been two months, man. I don't know if it's supposed to take this long or I'm just unlucky. You want goth flowers? What, what classifies as a goth flower? I have a bunch of black roses at the back. Bit 
needs to be dark and spooky. Well, the look's kind of set in stone. But I don't know. Black roses count. Okay. I guess roses and tulips are probably the closest, I would say. Wait, oh no, okay. That's right. One of the villagers watered. One of them. Dark purple and dark red work. There is a dark purple rose, so... I mean, okay, look at the colour palettes here. You can see them. Most of them. I haven't put the dark purple ones. Purple will go here. Is this gonna vanish? I should probably wait, otherwise it's gonna vanish. Okay, here. Hey! <laughs> After this weekend, I won't have the excuse of, like, being tired from work. The green, the only green in the game is the, the mums, but I'm trying my best to get them. That's probably going to be the last colour I get. It's just, it's such a process to get to it. I commend anyone that has the patience to like fill their island with black roses or the green mums. Gold. Well, I guess gold isn't too bad. <laughs> Monday to Friday tired from work, Saturday, Sunday tired from life, always tired. Yeah. I mean, thankfully, because of the working from home thing, I can do a functional adult stuff during the week. So if I need to do laundry, I can chuck laundry on and, yeah, just put it out. So, well, there's less to do on the weekends. Hey, Evie, thanks for the raid. How's it going? How's things? How was stream? Oh. Hold on. Please don't vanish. Okay, it's fine. Starting to understand why old geezers tend to be so grumpy they need a nap. Uh, I felt like an old man this week because I... After work, I fell asleep a couple times. <laughs> like, I was sitting in my sofa, and then next minute, I'm like waking up, and it's a couple hours later. It was definitely like old man energy. Just. But, in my defense, it's like, uh. It was the last work week of the year, so. I think my body was just telling me, hey, it's. Time to rest. I've ascended into old man territory. I mean, I make old man noises, so... It's definitely... ...true that as you get older as a dude, you start making louder noises. My sneezes have not gotten loud, so I got that going for me. Like, 
if if my dad was here and sneezed, you could probably hear him in the next apartment building. Uh, oh, I've done these. Okay. Your dad is the same, really. <laughs> Loud sneezes, yeah. Nah, mine aren't loud, thankfully. Ah, oh, it broke. Thought it was an Asian dad thing. No, I mean, I know, I know other dads that do it that aren't Asian. I think it's just an old man thing. At a certain point, you, you reach your final form, and that, that involves loud sneezes. They just let it rip. I don't know if it's a thing where they hide it, and then when they're older they just don't care. I don't think it's that at all. The farts, maybe. I remember once I was playing a game and my dad was sneezing from the kitchen and the microphone picked it up and they were like, what the hell, is someone being attacked in the background? It's like, no, that's just my dad sneezing. I'd love to stay and catch up, but you're on vacation right now and going to bed at a more normal time. Oh, that's fair enough. Ah, understandable. I too have started my vacation today, so I'm happy about that. But. Yeah, thanks for the raid and for popping in. Appreciate it, Evie. I'll have to pop in your stream, like, during the break I have. Now that I got less to do during the day. Yeah, have a good night. Wait, racing car bed? Oh. <laughs> did anyone have a bed? Like, I did not have a, anything remotely close to this as a kid. We'll be back home after this week, and oh, okay, cool. I'll probably catch it during the week. You didn't, but your brother did. So wait, did you get a normal bed, and your brother got a racing car bed? What am I doing? I don't need to do this. Bunk bed because he has had a sister. Ah, gotcha. Well, my bed was just pretty normal, nothing out of the ordinary. And I shared a room with my brother, so it was like bed, little chest of drawers with a tiny ass TV, and another bed. And then, you know, in the morning, one of us could only get out of bed first, because it was just that narrow. Love my island. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Yeah, appreciate it. Slowly getting there. Once I'm done with those hybrid flowers, I'll start doing the rest of the plan that I have. It's just, right now I can't really do anything until that's done. Um, I need to get medicine to fix my face. <laughs> Because I hit a 
a street light trying to save myself. There we go. As nice as this bar looks like, just, I, I still think this is probably my favorite thing. <laughs> just, oh, my maturity level. I, I am an adult, I promise. Dude's struggling watching the tennis. Okay, uh, I think I watered everything, so let's go do Happy Home. When I do Happy Home, I give myself a, uh, a time limit. So I go 15 minutes outside, 15 minutes inside, and I do what I can in that time. Two messages stuck together. I thought you were saying, have you seen them cookies? Like, have you seen them cookies? Mm. Wait, should you just say thanks for being my friend, have a light switch? <laughs> okay. Oh, right, hang on. There's one thing I've forgotten. It's crafting recipe. Someone's crafting or cooking. Not you. I guess I'll say hi. Wait, did you know there's all kinds of meanings and symbols for junk around- and junk around flowers? Check it out, in some cultures a cosmos represents harmony. Which makes them kind of like bass players and how they can magic a song together with rhythm and funk. Anyway, I just started on this, but it's so cool. The more I learn about flowers, the more I love them. Okay. You love her sweater? You could probably find a sweater like that. Or, I guess if you can knit one, sure. If you- do you have the talent to do that? Does she only have bangs? Yeah, I don't think the villagers changed their style much. You can give them clothing and they'll wear that clothing, but... Outside of, I think, a couple of circumstances, they're more or less the same. I tried to give my clown a pirate outfit, but... Unfortunately, he doesn't wear it. I wanted a pirate clown. Because I've been watching a lot of One Piece, so I wanted to make Buggy. So he just has it on display in his house. I'm not a huge fan of what knitting, because you have to stay focused on what you do. I just, I wouldn't have the talent, the dexterity. When knitting you get bored. <laughs> do you just, what do you do when you knit? Do you... Well, I guess you can't watch TV or something.
Wait, so whose house haven't I checked? Listen to podcast stream music. Ah. I mean, just do it bit by bit. I guess that's one of these two houses. You don't really care for it, but how are you gonna get a rainbow sweater? Or well, maybe you can find someone on Etsy that sells it. I bet you could find it. Oh, it's like the Christmas recipes. I mean... If I only played this game and nothing else, I'd go to the effort of setting up a Christmas display and then taking that down, but... Let's just... This is Christmas in Australia, right? So... It's more of a summer Christmas. How many people are weirded out by that concept when I say that? <laughs> just... Think about it. It's... A summer and it's Christmas for me. I'm wearing shorts. Just... You know, there's not going to be any drinking of hot beverages. I'm going to be drinking ice cold stuff. That's basically like Cowley. Oh, but not this time of year, though. It's not hot here, but it's not like it's a white winter. Ah, I see. Well, let's see if there's a villager that piques my interest here. Let's see who's here. Some places are warm, you guys know where you are. Oh, okay. You can get snow in mountain areas here, but it's just, you have to drive a couple of hours. I have run into this octopus. This is like, I think the fourth time I've run into this villager. I feel like I should just do this, this villager's house, because just so many times, like, what are the odds? There's, are you kidding me? Colton again? <laughs> okay, listen. I'll tell you the story about Colton, for those that aren't familiar. But I played New Leaf. Colton was a villager. On my New Leaf town. And, uh... One day Colton walks up to me and he's like, Hey! I have this item to sell you. Will you buy it for three times the amount I paid for it? I hesitated. I was like, what's he getting at? What's his game? What does he mean? What is this like something where he'll go, oh, just kidding? I just wanted to see if you would do it, but you know, you don't do it. Like, like a real friend, he'll prevent me from making a, a bad purchase. Or will it be a case of he'll sell me the item, but then feel bad and be like, oh no, here, I have a bonus item. So, you know, it intrigued me. So I decided to buy the item for three times the cost of what he paid. And then Colton just goes... Oh wow, I can't believe you did that. Thanks. And then I dug eight holes around him. So he couldn't move for a day. Then that same week, he got the- he, he, he brought the plague to the town. And just kept getting fleas practically every day. So then I had to dig eight holes around him again to quarantine him from the rest of the town. So that's Colton.
I should just decorate Colton's house and meet it. Make it just a literal garbage dump. Because there is some flooring you can get that is a garbage dump. There's a bed that's made out of cardboard boxes. There's a sofa that's made out of cardboard boxes. A lot of people really like Colton. <laughs> He's already been evicted, isn't that enough? Well, he wasn't evicted. I, as mayor of New Leaf, um, had to resign in disgrace. Because, uh, I got my hands on a golden altar made out of solid gold. And so the town thought I was funneling money. Well, yeah, just dipping into the, the coffers of the treasury to pay for said alt golden altar. So I was exiled to an island where no one knows my identity and had to start a start anew, you know? Start fresh. And that's the story of how I got to New Horizons. Not an actual story, this is just the stream lore. <laughs> like, you can't get exiled in an Animal Crossing game, just to be clear. You can't commit tax fraud or tax evasion, and then it's like, well, it carries over to the next game. This is just my dumb stream lore that I made up. Just to say, hey, I'm not playing New Leaf anymore, I'm playing New Horizons. So. Hey, remember that dumb sense of humor I have? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone here that I would want to make a house for. Don't know anything, so you'll believe anything I tell you about this game. Oh. I don't know if I can handle such power. Pound cake? I'm just waiting for this chicken to give me, like, a recipe for ramen that has chicken in it. That is my hope. Just some dish that implies chicken is in there. Eh, it's on the cutting board. Fancy. Uh, I'll go into the cafe and see who's in there. Maybe that elephant, I don't know. <laughs> I... Uh, I'm not salty over Colton, it's more just... It, it's... It's funny to think that I am. It is funny that I've run into it. This is like, I'd say, the fourth time he's appeared. So, the, just think about the odds of that, right? There's over 400 villagers you can run into. And I've run into Colton four times. And this dude four times. Oh, this could be like clickbait. I could just do this. Right? And then that's, that's the thumbnail for my video later. It's like, oh boy, Will's gonna go on a rant about Colton for like 15 minutes. Maybe this dog. Look at the look at the t-shirt. It has a t-shirt of laser eyes. We'll see what their themes are. We'll let fate decide. Um, I was gonna go into the cafe and see what they have.
That's another octopus. This one looks... Does this octopus have a... What? This octopus has a toothpick in their head. What the heck? Is it supposed to be like a takoyaki? <laughs> Just... I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, there's, doesn't look like there's anything new drink-wise. I have all the drinks, I think, now. So, I have enough to decorate. Alright. Uh, let's see what their themes are, and then I'll decide based on that. Unless they give me, like, a chance to do something else. You can probably figure out the odds of running into Colton four times, if it's a one in four hundred chance. It's more than one. Ooh, that's a nice chair. A CPR doll? What is this? A siren? What would I use a siren for? I'm trying to think. I mean, I can buy it. That's pretty cheap. Oh, just let me know if you ever want to place a special order. Oh, hold on. Can I order a thing? Items you use for work can also be ordered for- ah, ha, ha. Oh, this is it. Look at- I- I can make the arcade now. 57! That- jeez. I need to- I need to save up. Um... Where is it? That's an interesting table. I was waiting for this to happen. Ah, oh, man. I want one of these. I- okay, so there's probably a limit of five on this. Oh, damn, that would actually be kind of nice to put in the bar. I'd have to get rid of a table, but it... Eh, I'll think about it. That's too expensive anyway right now. This is what I've wanted for the longest amount of time. I can just buy it now. There we go. I'm happy now. What else? Oh, you can- a hallway door? Bunk beds? There's variations. Too late! <laughs> I'll just customize it, it's fine. Oh. Fancy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some more work to save up stuff. But I'll see if there's anything that I would want. Yeah, I'm gonna set up an arcade. So... It's gonna require a lot of pokey, but... I'll get that. That would be good for the bar. Okay, this one, definitely getting. There's no variations on that one. I can convert bells to pokey, really? But not yet, right? Like, I, I assume it's a later functionality. I want this. That's gonna go outside my fish market. 
Um, yep. I'm almost out of my. <laughs> I want to spend all my money. Okay. Because I got the suggestion to get the slushy machine, so then, you know, in one of the bars, they make the, uh, the fancy, the fancy drinks that can be ice. ATM machine? Oh, yeah. But that one's expensive, isn't it? Don't you get one for free? I feel like I vaguely recall, like, you get given one. I might be wrong. Go to well. Alright. I may have missed it originally. Wait, it's not here. Unless it's called something else. Uh, click out of the menu. Alright, hang on. Let me finish browsing first. I'd probably want that, but let's just... Oh man, there's some good stuff here. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely gonna make an arcade. If I was decorating a house nicely, this this would be great. <laughs> but since my house is a venue, it's, I don't really have to worry about nice-looking appliances and furniture. I don't think there's anything else I'm gonna want immediately. That might not be bad. I don't know if I want to do, like, more to the farm area. Hang on, let me look up flooring. So I'm looking for an alternative to put downstairs. Oh, it doesn't even have all of them. I guess it's, the, it's only the ones I've used. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Wait, ATM, where is it? How much is this doll?
Do they have an ATM here? I can't remember where it is. It'll unlock later. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. There's no rush. I'll probably buy that chair once I'm done today. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. If Colton has an interesting theme, I'll do something for Colton, so then there's no hard feelings. But I don't... Um, want a place totes filled with vivid colors. Uh, want to relax in a place that reminds me of back home. Okay. Picnic in a park. Food around the world. All those eyes, jeez. That's like a very sinister koala. Already done workout one. <laughs> Get back to work. Giant projection screen. Festival where I can hang out with my pals. That's kind of an interesting one. Yeah, let's do this. I think it's frightening that this villager has effectively like a toothpick going through their head. But let's just ignore that. No, Colton! Yeah, okay. Might be nice. Um, we need something... I would say that's flat. Something that isn't too cumbersome to work with. Hmm. Probably the best bet. Okay. Let me get my my timer out. So the usual fifteen minutes outside, fifteen minutes inside. Okay. So fifteen minutes start now. Okay, let's go for this one. I haven't used this one before, so let's just do this. Okay, so... Short. That'll do. And put the house off to the side. Okay, let's start with the big items. Yes, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Pretty much anything that's like amusement park related I'll do. Um, that'll be the food that's here. What on earth is that? <laughs> the mask. Okay, we'll have a little fun with it. Tables will be like this. And they'll sit on a shell stool. Let's see what else we have.
I'm can change the time of day so I can make it like a nighttime thing. I haven't done that yet. Um, what's an amusement park without two portable toilets? Um, maybe. Okay, here we go. This is like the big ticket stuff. Where is that? That. Uh, uh, I want a deep fryer. I'm surprised I don't have the all the uh, like the booze you have. Set on the mist, there it is. Fryer, um, and we want it to. Yep, yeah, that's obviously fries. Good. All right, let's just work with this one out. So, for this, I'm going to resort to custom pattern. Hopefully, it doesn't eat up too much time, but let's just try our best. I really wish you could reorder them, but it is what it is. Oh, it's gonna be a little awkward, that's okay. That's in the way! Get out of the way. Pressing the wrong button. <laughs> okay, uh, that. Gotta do the responsible adult thing and get to bed at a decent time. <laughs> no worries, Star. Well, thanks for popping in. Have a good rest of your night. This, this works, this works, this works. Oops. Crap. Too far, too far, too far. Alright, I won't bother too much with the rest of it being too fancy, but let's just now... Set this up, so... I'm gonna... Try and try and utilize the space as best as I can. Okay. Now we bring Give me a sec. This across. Oh, that's that's actually surprising. Um. Right. So, what I want. That's pretty much what I wanted. Now, something that looks like it's selling food, I guess.
I don't think I have anything that's representative of food, really, as a pattern. Uh, let's see if there's anything here I can use. Yeah, maybe that. That'll do. I'll get that. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do everything I want. We'll see. I might abandon the whole lighting thing. It's just gonna take too long. Getting there. Alright, now... Do more. I'll keep it simple. I don't want to overcomplicate the pathing. I don't know what else to do here, so I'll just fill it with that. Okay, what else have we got? I mean, let me... Let me do something. I have time, so I can probably do this again. I just want to be consistent with it. I 
I'm keeping an eye on the time. I still got three-ish minutes left, so... It's fine. Wait, wrong one. That one. I mean, candy machines near bathroom stalls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, let's be smarter about this. That's better. some sort. Yeah, let's go with this. That's fine. I think I'm pretty much done. There's not a whole lot else I'd want to do. Let's just now do some detail. Eh, that's probably the best one. Alright, leave it be. Um, what about this? That's fine. Yeah, blue's fine. Uh, bathroom stalls. That matches a bit better. Mmm, you know what? Just... It's a good measure. <laughs> I don't know what else to do here. I think this is fine. Functional. Good enough for an exterior, I think. I'm out of time anyway. <laughs> Alright. Eh. Eh, this is fine. I probably should have put a pizza. Then it's like pizza and fries and it makes sense, but... Let's just ignore that. Okay, well, just so my life is easier later. Hang on. This just makes, makes it easier to do thumbnails for YouTube later. So, hang on, what do I need from the order? So, I mean, in here, what do I want to do? I'll have to think about it. Quickly. Okay, so, I mean... Alright, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Let's just open the... Um, these are not necessary anymore. So we're gonna design this house like a venue. So 15 minutes. Start now. Alright.
What have we got? I think that's something fun. Yeah, I might go with this. I'll balance it out. This'll work. Okay, now... So what we want to do... Okay, grab three partition walls like that. And now we get started. Okay, so just to make this easier... Oops. That's done. Now, let's get the stuff out. Uh, lighting first. So, fun lighting. Well, first of all, we need this. That aside. Uh, that's a tough one. What can we do with these? Alright, let's do that. That's set up. Now, actual lighting. Okay, that's done. Okay, now to get stuff out. So... What do we want? We want... Probably that. Probably that. Um... I don't know if we want an area to eat. Maybe. Let's assume we do. Just go with these tables. Alright, uh... Counter. So a lot of this is just gonna be setting up, like, an entertainment area. We will need one of these. So that's fine. Crane game. Uh, uh. Darts pool. Oh my god, it's just <laughs> audio mess. Pretzels. Um. Yeah, but. Okay, as far as wall-mounted stuff goes, hold on. This one's gonna be pretty easy, just... Oh, 
let's just work with this for now. So it's fine to have the same arcade multiple times. Let's just do that, All right? That's the arcade wall. Now, do two pool tables. <laughs> You're moving there into the arcade. It'd be pretty sweet. I would like to have the room to like have one of these machines somewhere. At the very least, to be able to do retro consoles. This is the kind of place where I don't know if we would need sitting. Seating. I might be able to do it. I think I can get away with it. If I just do that, just put this here. Yeah, we can get away with it. Okay, that's that. Now, hold on. Crap! Stop. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Um. Go here. I think this one's gonna work pretty well. Okay, maybe the multiple monitors was overkill. Let's do this instead. Yeah. How much time? I got seven minutes. Alright. Ooh. And that is in the middle, I think. There, that's better. Even though it's not completely functional. Let's go with that. Um. <laughs> it's the sound effects. Of all the, uh, the arcade cabinets just going off. But I guess this is what it would be. That's realistic enough. Um, I need a bin. Trash, 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 trash. Oh, I may have missed it. Oh, there. This one. Let's just go with that. Okay, pinball machines. Tester. Wanna... Oh, you know what? Let's just do that. That's better. That works. Okay, so now we have that. Now, what I'm going to do. Let's just do that. That's fine. Alright. Okay. 
Oh, you can have different ones, that's cool. Okay, this has kind of got a flow to it. Now what I'm going to do... Duplicate this counter. Treat this as like a prizes area. So, you no, know, can exchange tickets for stuff. So, let's just put little things on the counter. Like, maybe you. Um, you. Just things you can exchange prizes for, you know? Hang up here now. What else have we got? Just, I guess, freak people that would frequent. I don't know. Let's just put some photos up. Like, Hall of Famers. There's not really a whole lot in terms of wall decorations, which is a little disappointing. Um, that's it. Air conditioning. I don't know what else I'd hang on the walls that matches this theme. I guess when in, when in doubt, <laughs> old reliable. This never lets me down doing this. This just... It's my go-to for filling spaces. Okay, I have only a little bit of more time left. Let's see if I can pull this off now. We have a one by one. I don't know if I want to commit to this. This might be a bad idea. Two by two, three by three. There's one by one, but it's only available in this color. Let's see. Oh, this might be a mistake. How much time? I got 50 seconds. That's being annoying. I might abandon this idea. I was thinking I'm making like a walkway, but that doesn't make sense. There's not enough time. Okay, uh, new, new plan, new plan. Very quickly. That, 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 and I'll place them. <laughs> Done. Just more food items, yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay, one minor adjustment. 
Just one. What's the closest? I guess that one. It's already got, like, hot dogs and popcorn in the background. <laughs> Alright, that's it. One change. One change, one change, one change. Put that in the corner. There we go. Now, that's better. Now you can walk around the whole thing. There's a prizes counter, and it's just... It works. Um... Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. It works. Again, for 15 minutes work. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I mean, okay. Functionally... Let's just simplify it. There. That's better. Now this is more sane, because it's, it's, there's a counter in the way, so then there's no way to get here. And it's the same here. And now it makes sense to me. It's like... Ideally, the arcade would have more of these, like multiple of the same game, but I think let's just overlook it. Okay, now I'm done. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. No, don't turn off the AC, stop. <laughs> Talk to the client. It's ready. We could have done a tea party for Colton, but no. Yeah, I like it. Of course he goes to that machine. <laughs> he goes to the pinball game with tentacles. Let's go with that one. It's a good one. <laughs> He's cute. I like his look, it's just the toothpick aspect creeps me out a little. <laughs> like, I got it. It's supposed to be representing, like, Takayaki. playing it too. I mean, okay, my hat is clipping into the wall, but like... Let's just pretend that's not a problem. Let's just pretend that if you were going for a shot from this side, that everything would be fine. And... You wouldn't hit the wall. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. I think that's the only detail missing was just the TV was off. I don't turn on the TVs. Darts is good because I've given it room, alright? To play darts you need this much clearance. You need to be standing about this far away. So I thought about that. And I don't think anyone's going to walk in front of it, so, yeah. Alright. 
Oh wait, I should. Uh, I'm heading back. That's it. I'm having fun making these timed. Okay. I have money again. Clutter and dust are sneaky things, and they like to pile up while you're involved with the rest of life. I'm not accepting any vacation home requests while I'm busy, so why not enjoy a well-deserved break? You should go say hi to Nico. Nico got back before you and went straight upstairs. Interesting. Uh, one sec, let me buy this chair. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll get it at some other point in the future. That is one expensive chair. What's he doing? If I connect this to that, no, nope, that doesn't work, like, at all. What? How long have you been standing there? Hmm. What was I thinking about? I'm working on a new DIY recipe. Well, I really want to make one, but I just can't land on a good idea. Maybe it's hopeless, if only I had some kind of hint or something. Oh, that's it. You've done DIY projects, haven't you, Will? Could you maybe tell me about, say, every single one of them? Give me some ideas. Please, I'm, des I'm a desperate monkey. Okay. Yes, I owe you one. Wow, you've made all that? And you used all those different materials, even stuff you can't get around here. You're like my DIY idol, but it stands for Dedicated Advent to You. Anyway, I've got lots to think about now, thanks. When I come up with a new recipe, I'll be sure to share it. Say, so, have you ever thought about using some of that DIY furniture in your vacation home designs? I'll bet Lottie would love that. You should tell her about all the stuff you've made. Anyway, my break is over, so I'm gonna head back up here. See ya. I mean, I guess there's, there's some stuff that I would use. Not a lot of it, but there's, there's some. This meal, like... What is it called again? It's... That is bleak. If this is a meal of the future, this is bleak. Like, you look at it, there's two things that look like sludge, and then there's like this cube that's blue. <laughs> I don't want to know what this is. I finally managed to get this place squared away, so I'll be accepting new vacation home requests again. Let me know when you'd like to get back to work. I've got an idea. I'm using DIY crafted items when you're designing vacation homes. Now there's an idea. Handmade items have character and vacation homes need character. However, I'd appreciate it if you limit yourself to the items you've crafted at least once before. I don't want to take any risks trying to craft something for the first time on site. Use the workbench upstairs if you need to. I'm so excited. Okay. Well. I mean, I think I've made all the important ones. You won't eat. <laughs> I mean, they talk about how the future, for sustainability, we'd have to eat, like, crickets and stuff. But I don't know, man. Or, like, meat that is grown. I'd be open to meat that was grown. I just have to put it out of my mind that it was grown. I mean, it's no more egregious than, like, when you eat animals that are technically babies. You just put that out of your mind. It's like, what's... what's worse? <laughs> Sorry, Colton. If you appear one... one more time... I will make you a holiday home. But today is not your day. Honestly, if I run into him a fifth time, 
He deserves the house as far as I'm concerned. Uh, wait, I have stuff on me. Let me go to halves first. Well, that's good. I'll have more stuff tomorrow that I can put down. What do I have on me? A siren, right, and a light switch. Oh, I only bought the siren. I mean, I already have that. What about... what does this become? I mean, if it's going to be a siren, it has to be red. I'm curious if I can put this on a wall. It lights up. Does it make a sound? I guess it would have to make a sound. I'm just not sure what to do with it. Maybe I can be funny with it somehow. Damn, if I still had my Gordon Ramsay restaurant, I'd put the the siren in the kitchen right next to the security camera that is telling the chefs to hurry up. <laughs> keep... Uh... It's okay, that's in the past. What if this was like a feature of the club or something? <laughs> what can I what can I do with this? I can't hang it on the wall. <laughs> I could just make a, a lighting feature of just this dude's show, just... Plays music to a siren backdrop. No, that's this. This is annoying. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's it's a novelty. Where did I have it? It was like yeah, on here. There we go. I could put it... What if I had... I don't think there's room, but if I set up customs, like... There's just a booth. And I'll put a suitcase on the booth and then a siren, so it's like... If you visit this town... Immediately the sirens light up. There's a security gnome and the security gnome has to check you. I don't think there's room... To Oh, no, then I might be able to do that idea. Huh. <laughs> I mean, 
If this island is reflective of Australia, Australian customs are nothing to mess around with, like... They are very serious. If you try to bring stuff into the country. Particularly food. I could probably- I could probably do that idea. Yeah, I mean... We don't have rabies in Australia just because of how strict customs is. That's something we don't have to worry about here. Because... We're a continent and an island, don't share borders with anyone, so... <laughs> I could... <laughs> set up a camera, hang on. Let's run with this idea of, like, having customs at, at the airport. Um, give them a, a that. Um, do I have luggage as an item? I probably don't, but let's just see. Hey, Mega Man, welcome. How's it going? I don't think I have luggage. Assuming there's even an item that's like a suitcase. <laughs> Rover's luggage. The dog is at customs that I got. It's just being quarantined. And that just reminds me that Johnny Depp Depp snuck his dogs into Australia. And one of the uh, politicians here got angry that that happened. And rightfully so, like, you know, the guy shouldn't have done it. But he kind of sent out an ultimatum that was like, get the dogs out of the country or I'm going to euthanize them. And it was just hysterical. Just like, what a sentence. <laughs> He got so much shit over that, it's like... Man, who does that, honestly? It's like, he might be in the right, but... At the end of the day... It, the guy was like, I'm gonna murder your dogs if you don't get him out of the country! <laughs> yeah, not a good look for us. Um, alright, hold on. I don't have anything that's close. Oh, This is gonna work. This is going to work. I have the conveyor belt, so I can set up, like, customs. And I have one more of these guys. Okay. Hollywood stars think they're above everyone else, though. Yeah. A lot of them do. There are some that aren't too bad, but in general, I would say so as well. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, the politician was in the right, just Johnny Depp sneaking in his dogs was not a good thing. Right? But the way he went about it, <laughs> he just... Uh, if you pardon the Australian, he looked like a bit of a wanker. Should have been a little more tactful on his approach. Oh, when did I get this? Yo, that's cool. 
I might craft that just so it's available in Happy Home. I don't know when I got that. That's a really nice decoration. I've never seen that one before. Alright, uh... Yeah, so let's... Make something look intimidating. Alright, so this is customs. I guess I should make it match the airport colors. So the airport colors are green. And then we should pick something that... It's not bright, it's kind of... Almost looks official. Like, is there a... Something that implies nook? Or dodo? Yeah, this kind of- this kind of implies like it's associated with Nook Inc. Okay, maybe... Let's do that. And I'll keep an eye out for a suitcase item. I like how sometimes some of my ideas start as a joke, and then I'm... I think about it for a minute, and I go, wait a minute. That's actually a good idea. Okay, so... How would this work? It would be... Placed here. Hang on, would, ooh, how am I going to do this? Let's just think about this for a minute. I think it would have to be like that. Even though it's on the... Uh, I can move the path up. That's not an issue. So I can adjust this. Let's just say... Let's do that. Um, so there is a camera pointed at you as you enter. Okay. Alright. With a conveyor belt. Alright, so go that way. Okay, so this would be customs. And then if we place... It could work, it could work, it could work, so... Um... I'll place just some general household stuff, right? Does Pietro have the fleas again? And then we have... Garden Gnome here. Kind of inspecting. Alright. So I'd have to reroute this. I think it'll work. Alright. So, let's do this. I like the idea enough that I'll, I'm willing to... ...alter this. I just have to move it up by one, so it's not too bad.
Uh, it's probably easier. Not what I was trying to do. Okay. So long to set up, but okay. Uh, I guess this one now. I have to kind of alter it a little. Maybe not too much. All right, um, this. Okay, we got it. And then... There we go. Sorted. Now, let me set this up again. come through customs if you're visiting here. Okay, it could afford to go back a little more. Alright, let me just... It should be okay, it's just offsetting it by one, so... Did that have worked? No. Did that have worked? No. Hang on, what am I doing? Why did this work? Yeah, okay. I'm wrong. So, it needs to go one more. Okay, this is correct now. And now... If I work backwards... Whoops. It's alright. It'll be fixed shortly. now, it's just unnecessary. Alright, there we go. And now we can place the, uh, where is it? Where's the stool? That one. I mean, I should go color it black, but I might see if- oh, damn it. I hate it when that happens. I might see if I can color this. <laughs> I 
I mean, these were funny, but now I actually have a real idea to put here. I'll be back in a minute. I think I might just put one thing on the conveyor belt. Wait, did I go work? I went work, didn't I? I may have made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I went to work. Whoops. Sorry. One extra load screen. I was supposed to go to halves. Okay, thankfully we can just go straight there. If I had more patterns, I'd get a picture of the dude that threatened to get rid of Johnny Depp's dogs and just put a photo of him behind the booth. <laughs> but then it'd be a joke that only, only Aussies would get and... Even then, it's like, it's not a great joke at best. I should put the dog. <laughs> I might just put the dog on the conveyor belt, just so then, if you know, you know. Yeah, that's what I wanted. If you know the story, you know the story. Find the camera chat, okay. That one, thank you. This is very morbid, but... I'm actually looking at a photo of his dogs. <laughs> okay, so his dog was like... What's the closest one? They're very small dogs, so it kind of lines up. I guess beige. It's the closest one. No one's going to get this reference except people that watch this. But uh, the important thing is it'll make me smile. Every time I see it, because I know it's just a dumb joke. The siren! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is... Comedy gold. I got this. Move, move this for a minute. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my god. This is actually gonna work. Wait, th it's going the wrong way. Can I can I change the direction of it? Okay, hold on. It needs to go the other way. It really won't let me rotate it? That's... How about now? It's better. Okay, so that's going the correct way now. Um, this is facing the wrong way. Okay, now... Oh, why does it have to do this? Hang on. That way? Game, please. <laughs> why? Why can't we just play stuff like we do in Happy Home? Okay, that's correct now. So now what I'm gonna do... Place the dog... <laughs> on the conveyor belt. Pietro is just intrigued of what's happening. So there's a security camera. Maybe move back just a tad. That okay. I hope this works. I'll be so pleased <laughs> if it actually works. that. Please tell me the gnome can just go on top of here. I'll be so happy. Oh, yes! Okay, and then turn it that way. There we go. <laughs> okay, this, this makes me happy that this works. We'll get another gnome to be here, act as a secondary guard. So yeah, this is, uh, this is customs. No one will know what this is in reference to, unless, you know, the story I just told. <laughs> Such a dumb joke, but I like it. Yeah, there we go. It's so simple, but it works. <laughs> Especially if I up- if I upload. I can make a sign what this says customs. If I had more patterns, I would, but I'm out of patterns. I'd have to sacrifice one, and I feel like if I'm gonna sacrifice one, it'd probably be for the arcade, instead of this dumb joke. I think it's enough, it's just... 
When people visit this island, when I eventually do make a dream for it. It's just one of those things, it's just, why did he do, what, what is this? What, just, it's best left unspoken. It's one of these things where if you were here, you were here. If you're Australian, you might recognize, like, wait, it's a dog, is this customs? Is this dog going through customs? And then it'll click, it'll be like, oh shit. <laughs> I know what this is about. Just a dumb reference. Yeah, I wish they weren't so stingy with the pattern slots. It should be at least double of what there is. But I am content with myself with that. That was able to be made. It's also great because I was, I was thinking, I want to use the conveyor belt somehow. And that siren, I thought it was cool, but I didn't know how I would use it. Well, there we go. <laughs> I should just let this be the thumbnail, just... Like... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so easily amused. This is so dumb. Uh okay. Uh can I pan I can pan the camera. Alright, so then Alright, that's gonna be the thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just, I, I'm so easily amused. Hey, it, it, it's, if not anything else, it's pretty creative, right? It's, I tell a dumb story and I make like a little scene representing that dumb story. I just need to get a suitcase to then make it, like, very obvious that it's customs. If I can put a suitcase on the conveyor belt as well, then... Well... You'll know what it is. I'm gonna put stuff away and then do the daily island. Give me one. How rare is the item? Or is it something that I can- Oh, the pokey. I didn't buy a final item, did I? That's rare. Hmm. <laughs> Does it come up in Happy Home? Because all, all I would have to do is just, if it does pop up in one of the themes, just use it. A DIY, like maybe I have a DIY. Hang on. Yeah, 
We got it during the maze. The maze? I just got an idea. I just got an idea. I, I, I can do something temporary. Okay. No, 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 no. I got this. I got this. I got an idea. I got an idea. I almost did the wrong thing again. <laughs> I have an idea. That's it. Good enough. Place that on the conveyor belt, done. And I'm sure he's, he does sell one that looks more like a briefcase. I do remember. But this is fine for now. It's enough to get <laughs> the joke, the stupid, stupid, obscure Australian joke across. Or if you're like a large enough fan of Johnny Depp, you might get it. It's the Mayday event? Oh, that's ages away. I think I'll just keep checking just what bags are being sold and just eventually find one that's alright. Oh, that's annoying. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that <one. laughs> Good enough. There we go. This is my dumb cut. All right. Well, now I need to. I need to do this again. Because the scene is more complete. <laughs> so dumb. Alright, well. Hope you enjoyed my stupid <laughs> customs joke. Ah, uh, dear. Another way, another way I could make it even more obvious is like. Because Johnny Depp sometimes wears this hat. I could find a similar hat and place it there, so then it's just... Ah, too much effort. I think that is enough. Let's do this now. <laughs> I actually spent, like, almost 20 minutes making that stupid scene. Hmm. 
and it's worth it. Oh, it always is. <laughs> yeah, because I'll stop playing the game, then the next time I play it, I'll walk past it, and it'll just make me smile again. Just like that gyroid that looks like he's struggling with taking a piss. Again, I, I am an adult. I promise. Never grow up. I mean, uh, I can be grown up. I can go with the definition of what people say is grown up, but I feel like life is boring if you don't have some semblance of. I'm gonna call it fun, but sometimes people say immaturity. There's nothing wrong with that in small doses. As long as you're, for the most part, an adult functionally, it's, yeah, it's just having fun. I know people that believe that video games are for kids, and it's just, man. It's a pretty cynical way of looking at life. I'm probably going to chop the trees and stuff, because I'm running out of wood, so. I'll get whatever I can out of this island. Uh, it just takes me back to when I first started on Twitch, and I had no idea what to do for emote, emojis, emotes. And so, I'd say for about a year, one of my emotes was like the face of, um, this dude, an Australian Olympic dude. The significance was that he won Australia's first gold medal in the Winter Olympics. And the way he did it was not by skill. I mean, the, the dude had skill, but um, in both the qualifier and the finals for the event, someone tripped over and knocked over everyone else, so he just coasted to the end. And my emoji was just like the look of disbelief on his face when he knew he had won. It's like, Basically a pog champ face. But of course, I'd always get the question, who's that guy? So, it made me laugh, but obscure Australian reference that no one really understood. Unless I told the story. So yeah, that whole customs thing, that'll just be another one of those. If you're in on the joke, you're in on the joke. If you're not, you're gonna question my sanity a little. It's like, wow, this guy makes such nice looking things in Animal Crossing, but why the heck did he put a toy dog and a siren at the entrance to this island? That's fine. I'm okay with that.
I don't know why I'm bothering with the fruit. It's not like it's going to sell, but... I, mean, I guess there's recipes. I've seen a lot of peach items be the hot item of the day. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably check the hot item of the day. So... Not that money is an issue anymore, it's more I want to get to a point where even the expensive items is something I don't hesitate on. Oh, there's a shark over there. Or... At least... Shark adjacent. It's not a shark. It's this thing. I reacted very slowly, so I knew I, I, it wasn't... It wasn't right. I don't think my reaction times have been good today. <laughs> I'll have a look at the image of the suitcase. I might... I might have to, like, take up the offer to receive it. Because I'm not waiting till May. At that point, I probably won't be playing this. I don't know. I think once I'm done with this, I'd, I'll probably check out Dinkum, which is... It's a game that's in early access, but it's kind of progressed a lot more, and it's, I guess... Similar to Animal Crossing, but it takes place in Australia and involves villages instead of actual animals. I've heard good things about it. It's pretty much close to being done. But yeah, that's probably ages away still. If these flowers, <laughs> just, oh man, I've been growing these flowers for two months. It's gonna be three months soon. See that? <laughs> that was a scorpion stuck here. It was like half inside the cliff. Okay, that scared me a little. I had to watch it and just make sure that it wasn't going to attack me. It's okay, it disappeared into the cliff. That's fine. just one more thing that's gonna end up in the end of year compilation of just the times games act all glitchy. I'm happy to get all this hardwood. I really don't have that much. Yeah, good. Normal wood as well. I'd do this back on the island, but I think there's still wasps. Alright, that's it. I'm good. Good to go. Uh, I mean, a lot of softwood, but that's fine.
about that one. <laughs> I didn't want to read it. Check the hot item. Too pleased with myself. Oh, uh, yeah. I really want one that's just using iron and nothing else. Let me, because I saw that decoration that I thought looked cool. I want to make it so it's available for use. Uh, what was it? It was not that. Ugh, that D-pad. Yeah, this. So cherry blossom bonsai pine bonsai. Do I have both? Of it? I. Well, I don't get the feeling that I can't make it. This is one of these multi-tiered recipes that I can't make, I think. Let's just see. <laughs> I'm resisting the temptation to make the noise that the song makes. Okay, I don't have either. I should probably make that one, because that one would, pro would probably be a nice decoration. And it's just tin can and this, right? Gives me more options for hang stuff as well. What else have we got? I haven't crafted this one. Okay.
clay. Alright, let's get clay. I might craft all of these. Clay, let's get stone out, let's get bamboo out. Let's get spring bamboo out. Let's see what we can make. But I feel like these ones are already available. Vine land? That's kind of nice. Vine... Okay, let's get vine. Yeah, I mean, maybe from natural stuff outside. Could work. I've made that. What else can we do? I think that's already available. I can make magazines. That could be nice for Zen. Uh, and I might also use it. I guess let's get the wood out as well. Probably should have made this one already. This one could be useful. To make a pathway with it. Um, I've made that. I don't know if I want that. That I saw was available. I should probably craft more mermaid stuff, but I can't be bothered. Kind of nice. Hopefully you didn't hear the cars in the background. <laughs> they're doing the thing again. And just because it's a turkey day doesn't mean it can't be used outside of it. It is Friday, so now it's more understandable that that sort of thing would be going on. I don't have a. Ugh. I really wish it would give you the individual recipe before giving you the ones that are multi step, because I really want stack fish containers. I want this, but I can't make it because I don't have the first item. So, that's not an option. Same with the little table with the little trees. It's just. That's an interesting bed. Uh. I need more iron. Which is fine. <laughs> Cut. So much iron. Hmm. 
тебя. Don't know about that one. Uh, what else have we got? <laughs> if I if I want to stick with cult, the theme of like making Colton live in a literal dumpster, I could commit. I could commit to the joke. Like, I could craft this now, go back to the island, just make the indoors that, place whatever he wants outside in the corner, and then just fill it with garbage bags. <laughs> oh, that would be mean. I want the other DIY workbench. Where is it? That one. I need more wood. No, this is good. It's just gonna give me more options for happy home. Okay, let me put some of this stuff away. One sec. What else? Already made that. I feel like I've made a lot of... That one's already available. A lot of the main ones. A wash tub? I guess? Tree branch, that one, the clothesline would be good. Clothesline is a good one. I might actually put this one outside somewhere. Someone's gonna get this. Not sure who. who. But eventually I will place it with someone. A nice branch? Sure. <laughs> it's probably used for something. Uh... This one. If I want to do like an Amish thing, I guess, <laughs> just do the old fashioned wash tub. I think that covers it. That'd be most of the stuff I'd want to be made available. What about uh, this one? I think is fine to leave. I don't know about the gold items. I don't have the wristwatch. 
Don't have that. I could potentially make that. <laughs> Yeah, I think this this is fine. That covers the bases. The mermaid stuff, I don't think I'm going to have enough to make it. So what does this do? <laughs> okay. This is, hey, look at me, I got a stick. Alright. sell this shark. I mean, fake shark. I can't believe that's a beach ball. It looked like a watermelon. that I would want to use as like a dance floor sort of thing. I might get this. It could be useful. Okay, uh, but the other thing I am here for... There they are. And that is some running glow. That's all do it for Animal Crossing for today. I'm content with what I did. Uh, if you were watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, by the way. If you want to support the channel over here, just the easiest way to do so is just, uh... Do the thing that the YouTubers tell you to do. Hit the like button. It does help out a lot, so I do really appreciate it. Um... But also you can watch me play other things if you click one of the videos that may have popped up on your screen by now. So I hope you do check out some of the other content. So.
we'll uh, continue this next time. Take care, YouTube.